Enigma Pro Wrestling proudly is a PW. Hello wrestling fans, this is Rob Shock from Enigma Pro Wrestling, and we have quite a treat for you. We have Elijah the Pope Burke on the line with us today, and uh, just want to say how excited we are to talk with you today. How are you, Elijah? Uh, rest assured, but first things first, Rob, let's back up just a minute and, and, and allow you to know and everybody that's listening that you can, from this point on forward, refer to me as Pope. We're going to be, we're going to be on a Pope congregation term level right now, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. So you call me Pope, I'll call you Robbie. How about that? That sounds great. I, I stand corrected. The Pope. How are you? <laughs> uh, all is well, Daddy. You know how we do. We just keeping it real 100%. And in folks' world, man, I got to tell you, all is well, all is good. As I like to say, we just uh, blessed in the hood. <laughs> just with a mention of your name, you have quite a, uh, quite a following. You have quite a, let's call it a congregation of people that are excited to see you. Uh, we dropped uh, your image on uh, on our social media platform. It caused quite a stir. Is that is that normal for you? Do you have a big congregation? What's your thoughts on that? Well, you know the thing about it is, man. First, I'm blessed, and um, um, we're we're very fortunate, if you will, uh, Pope and his congregation, because it's not a limited member of, uh, of folk, if you will. It's not limited to a certain folk, a certain people, a certain race. Uh, Pope just kind of stretches far out and beyond, not just to the wrestling world, but past the wrestling world, man. Um, uh, Pope just reaches out to the masses, man. It's just a special connection that I have with my people whom we refer to as the congregation, man. So very fortunate uh, in that realm. Um, so when something like that happens, uh, social media, whatever you want to call it, uh, people uh, respond, they should respond because they know that whenever Pope is in the midst, some great things are about to go down. Absolutely. I mean, just electrifying in the ring. How long have you been wrestling for one? And, and what were some of the more memorable things for you? Well, one of the great things about uh, going in right now with Enigma Pro Wrestling is the fact that they're getting Pope, uh, a seasoned Pope at that. Right now we are celebrating uh, Pope and the congregation. Ten years of activity in the pro wrestling wow. world. This is Pope. Tenth year uh, in the in, in the business, so uh, that's, that that says a lot, you know, because a lot of have come and gone, and and uh, hey, let's face it, I've been around to watch some people come in into the big time and, and and out of the big time, but right now, you know, Pope is still kicking and transitioning, if you will, and very happy and proud to be doing it right now with Enigma Pro. Uh, so I've had a lot of highs, man. My lows uh, are, are unknown, if you. Well, if you want to refer to anything as a low, then you can refer to the low one or two uh, mishaps as far as injury is concerned. Then you can look at that as a low. But Pope has been very blessed and fortunate in that aspect as well because, uh, you know, when it comes to injuries, if there's any major injury that I've had, it's been the one that happened two, three years ago and, and the recent one uh, that sidelined Pope, man. But we're talking about 10 years to only be faced with two injuries that have caused Pope to be, you know, put on the sidelines, man. I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed in that. But the highs, man, the highs are unlimited. Uh, they're, they're, they're countless. You know, um, I've been in a ring with a lot of my uh, uh, idols. Uh, I, I've been in there with the great, uh, in my mind, the greatest of all time, uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair. You know, I've shared locker rooms with him. I've worked with him. Uh, shared some funny stories. Uh, you know, he, he loves to tell the stories, man. So uh, it's been great to, to work up under him, uh, with him, and work up under someone like Arn Anderson, who I've grown up watching and respected a lot. Um, Jeez, I was, I was brought into the business. I was brought into the business by a great guy uh, who I looked up to, a uh, Tommy Dreamer. Um, you know, uh, trained under Jim Cornette. But man, it's just again, you know, when you talk about the highs, I can go on and on to the WrestleManias. Uh, but 
shit. I don't want to keep going because, it, like I said, it's unlimited. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now, I mean, you know, how did you arrive at at this? And you know, it sounds it sounds more like your your character development is more an extension of you than it is, you know, a real separation between between that. Is that is this something that that you feel so passionate about and and in your career that it's it's almost an extension of your own personality at this point? Well, I I, I think that goes without saying. See, that's the great thing about. Pope, you know, Pope is Elijah Burke, and Elijah Burke is obviously me. And what what you saw with Elijah Burke was a toned down version, basically, of the extension, which would be the Pope. And um, <laughs> and so, you know, yes, very passionate about uh, uh, that Pope thing. You know, when people start talking about the characters and all that, you know, I. It, Pope is just the extension of who I am. It's just not really an extension, if I can say that. Pope is just a name of the turned-up version of Elijah Burke. So that's pretty much it. You know, so no. when, when Pope gets on the scene, man, you know, it's just like, wow, watch out. You know, because this guy here is just, just amped up, you know, uh, as folk like to refer to, been charismatic and all that stuff. You can't train it. It's not something you can categorize or, or turn into a character. It's just who Pope is, Daddy. Don't put a microphone in my hand. You understand what I'm saying? Because then it's on. I love it. I absolutely love it. No, I can feel your energy right through. And, you know, sometimes when I look at your photographs, there's there's some photographs where you're very serious, and there's, there's other ones where you have a smile on your face that just, you know, really just lights up the room. And uh, I think that charismatic attitude uh, translates well to the fans. Well, what is it about wrestling that you, that you really love? I mean, what is it that draws you to wrestling uh, and pro wrestling as your platform to, to do what you do? Well, obviously, uh, this will sound a little cliche, but it's just the bottom line. It's the fans. It's being able to to go out and entertain them and get a reaction. It's going out and being the uh, uh, ringmaster, if you would. Uh, and this is not a, uh, when I say ringmaster, I'm not talking about WWF 1996 Stone Cold Steve Austin. What I'm talking about is to go out there and dictate the the high, the low, that roller coaster ride. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it, it's mm-hmm. been the the Barnum to the Bailey. You know, it's been the, it's going out and been the <laughs> the uh, Michael Bay, I believe that's his name. It, it, it's been the Steven Spielberg. You know, you get to be all of that at the moment because you are writing a story and you're doing it live. So that's the great part about going out there, man, and being that conductor and allowing these people to hop on to that express, you know. So, yeah, man, the Elijah Express. We just let them hop on that, man, and we take them for a ride. Woohoo! I feel it. I feel it. And, uh, I think, you know, with, with Enigma Pro Wrestling, I think we are very, very centric to the fans and making sure that the fans are getting what they want. They've got great storylines, and they've got great people to, uh, to care about, you know, to really get behind the characters. I, when, I was, uh, when I was young, that was, that was the thing. You really cared about the characters, and you mentioned, you know, the Four Horsemen and, and, and those, those kind of things, and, and, you, and you felt something. You really did feel something for, for the character and the, and the storylines and uh, uh, you know, you, you as part of an addition to uh, Enigma Pro Wrestling, I, I'm expecting the same. I'm expecting people to really care Robbie, about about you. Well, Robbie, let me help you out there. I believe the word that you're looking for, Daddy, is investing. See, with Enigma and, 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 and hats off to Mr. Doherty, it's investing. And investment, and that is something that, as fans, as you were just trying to point out, and did point out, by the way, Daddy, don't worry about being corrected about Pope. But uh, when you are trying to build something and and, and building an empire like like what's going down with Enigma Pro Wrestling and, and and having a federation and all that, you want to give the fans something to invest in, like you and I were able to do with the Four Horsemen and Ric Flair and and and, and all those greats that came the force, you know, the Stingers and the Hogan's and the Dusty Rose. It's called investing. And and um, that's what's so great about it, Nigma, because the vision is is coming and and, and, and and it's, it's it's being fruitious, if you will. That that means it's supplying, and it's going to allow the fans a great 
uh, opportunity to once again invest in some characters that they can connect with. And, I, and that's what it's all about when it comes down to pro wrestling, Beck. Absolutely. Well, I think you're going to you're gonna put the exclamation point on, on the word significance. I want to just thank you for taking this time out of your day to, to speak with us and to share your thoughts and your, your kernels of wisdom with us. And uh, we're really looking forward to seeing you on the stage and, and seeing more of, uh, of the Pope. Uh, no, uh, uh, again, that's not a problem, Daddy, because when there's a word that needs to be, spoke, to be spoken, when there's action that needs to be made, Daddy, you got to call on Pope. you got to have a Pope in the midst and or in the presence of Enigma Pro Wrestling. And there's no better person to be fantastic than yours truly, and that's the Pope, Elijah Burke. And trust me, the pleasure is all yours. Yes, it is, and I'll make sure that we uh, we polish the pulpit for you. <laughs> hey, be sure to do that, Robbie, man. Be sure to do it, because I'd definitely be there to put my mark on it. <laughs> Thank you for putting a smile on my face. Thanks for putting a, a smile on what I'm sure is going to be the fans' face today. And uh, be safe. We need you, and uh, have a blessed day. Hey, glad to be a part, man, and uh, we're going to have some fun. And same to you, my friend. All right. Thank you, sir.